Now, what we're doing this morning is I'm going to let your schoolmate here, who is one of my volunteers and a friend of mine, he's going to do your presentation this morning, and he's going to talk about some of the animals that we have brought here this morning. His name is Jacob. Now, the way that this morning is going to work is he's going to go through, he's going to present each one of the animals, he's going to talk about them real quick, give you some uh, background and some education on them, and then after that, we will take questions. Do not, do not ask questions until we're done with the presentation. That way it doesn't take us long for him to get through his presentation for you. But we will answer all the questions once everything is done, and then once everything is said and done, we'll have the teachers bring you by class by class, and you can come up close and actually take a look at each animal we brought here this morning. Okay? All right, now I'm going to turn it over to Jacob, and welcome Jacob, and it's his show. Okay, hey guys, how are you guys doing? Good, Golden. All right, well, I'm going to start here and just go down. I know. Okay, this animal right here is an albino monocle cobra. And these guys come from the The reason they're called monocle cobras is because whenever they hood up, they have a little circle on their back. It kind of looks like a monocle, like you would wear on your eye. And, um, can you get a picture? That's what the, what he's talking about on the back. They get the name Gila Monster because they're found near the Gila River in Arizona. He's venomous, but he's actually a really nice guy. They are often mistaken for the beaded lizard because they look almost the exact same. They have a forked tongue, sort of like a monitor lizard or a tegu. And they are just a really nice little lizard. With the Gila monster, the Gila monsters do not have fangs. The only way that they can inject their venom is to actually chew it in like a pit bull. And when they bite down, they bite down and hold on. And you can see the fatty gum lines. You see how fat her gum lines were. That's what the venom is. And what they actually do is they chew that venom in. So whenever they bite, they lock on and chew it in. Okay. The next animal is the Eastern box turtle. Now I'm, sorry, I'm sure you saw these guys in your backyard. <laughs> okay. So this is our stage for reptile. And um, this is probably a full-grown turtle. They eat vegetation, and they're just an all-around nice little guy. I'm sure you probably caught them and kept them before. But the best thing to do is just release them. Okay. I've never got this one out before. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. Mm. Okay. This is an this is a black and white Argentine tegu. These are similar to monitor lizards in the fact that they have a forked tongue. They're sort of like a snake. A snake, it flicks its tongue and it collects scent from the air and it helps it track its prey. The tegu is the exact same way. Okay. Is that a region? It looks like it's a region. 
Right here, it is easily a very 